Hi, I'm Bob Henderson with GFG Instrumentation. Manufacturers and regulatory agencies agree you should perform a functional bump test by exposing your gas detector to test gas before each day's use. The EcoBump is an innovative product designed to make performing a bump test even easier. A bump test is a qualitative check in which the sensors are exposed to test gas for a time and at a concentration sufficient to activate the alarms to at least the lower alarm settings. The test confirms that the gas is capable of reaching the sensors, that the response time is within normal limits, that the alarms are activated, and that the instrument functions properly. Remember that a bump test is a qualitative test to verify the performance of the alarms. It does not verify the accuracy of the readings. It's important to maintain your gas detector in accordance with the owner's manual. The owner's manual specifies the frequency and conditions when it may be necessary to perform a calibration check or a full calibration to ensure the accuracy of the readings. Performing a functional bump test is very simple and takes only a few seconds to accomplish. I'm going to show you how using a GFG G450 4 gas confined space gas detector. The EcoBump cylinder is very compact with external dimensions of only 2 inches by 4 inches and an inside volume of less than 0.07 liters. But don't let that fool you. The EcoBump cylinder holds enough gas to perform over 250 daily bump checks. Begin by turning the G450 on. Make sure to let the instrument finish warming up before performing the bump test. Once the startup sequence is complete, the G450 should show readings of 20.9% oxygen, 0% LEL combustible gas, 0 ppm CO, and 0 ppm H2S. If the readings do not show the proper values, it may be necessary to perform a fresh air autocal adjustment. Make sure you really are in fresh air before you make a fresh air adjustment. Attach the regulator to the EcoBump cylinder and attach the calibration cap and tubing to the G450. The G450 display will show the AutoCal screen. Press exit to show the normal gas reading screen. You need to be able to see the readings for all four sensors when you perform the bump test. Push the button or trigger on the regulator to flow gas for about two seconds. Make sure that all four sensors go into alarm. Remove the calibration cap and allow the sensors to restabilize in fresh air. That's it. It should take less than 20 seconds for the alarms to sound once the gas has been applied. The list price of the EcoBump cylinder is only $150. Since each cylinder contains enough gas for over 250 bump checks, the price per test is less than 60 cents each. EcoBump test gas is available for use with single as well as multi-gas instruments. There is a wide range of available gases and concentrations. An additional benefit of the EcoBump design is that because the cylinder volume is so small, there is a DOT exemption that eliminates hazmat fees when the cylinder is shipped via ground transport. Failure to periodically test and document the performance of your gas detectors can leave you open to regulatory citations or fines, as well as increased liability in the event that a worker is injured in an accident. Sixty cents per day is a very small price to pay to ensure your instruments properly respond to gas. Thank you for choosing GFG instrumentation, and thank you for choosing EcoBump test gas.